What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and it's another one from Farm Foods. Let's hope it is better than Friday's kebab meat and chips. This is what we're doing. Mac and cheese and barbecue beef. Farm Foods mix up. So, I'm going to aim for that. And hopefully it's nice. Definitely hopefully it's nicer than... The last two have been a bit not, not great to be honest. That The kebab meat was rock hard and the chicken in the, from the Morrison's sweet and sour batter chicken last night was um, awful, it was, it was dreadful. So, with that being said, I know a lot of you ha did come to my channel for the Just Essentials range, and uh, I am gonna be continuing with that. If you haven't hit the subscribe, do so now, so you don't miss any. It's gonna be starting again next week, probably like Wednesday. Um, I've got to make some room in my freezer because I've only got three drawers in my freezer, so I've got a delivery coming tonight, um, and the Just Essentials range is all going to be piled in, so <laughs> I don't know where we're going to put it all, so I'm going to have to get cooking. But, first things first, let's try this mac and cheese and barbecue beef. So here is the box. It does look nice, to be honest. It looks like some sort of breadcrumbs on the mac and cheese, and uh, barbecue beef looks decent. And as you can see there, microwave cookable, nine minutes. So... Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Really clear instructions there. It says minced beef in a smoky tomato sauce with cooked macaroni pasta and a cheese sauce topped with red leicester and breadcrumbs. So minced beef in a smoky tomato sauce. It's actually not quite barbecue, is it? Smoky beef sauce, 36% and the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. So Worcester sauce. Hmm. Looks alright, 32% macaroni, 30% cheese sauce, 36% smoky beef sauce. Allergens, wheat, milk, mustard, barley. Nutritional information per pack, it is, wow, 1,351 calories per pack. That is a monster meal, 57 grams of protein in that. Jeez. Right, okay. We're not going to be eating what else after this then. So, microwave for nine minutes. Remove out of packaging and pierce film lid. Place in a microwave plate and cook for five minutes. Peel back the lid. Stir the compartment. Recover for four minutes. So, let's get into it. Jeez, it's like crystal made. It bloody open. This is well sealed, is this? Super glued shut. So there we go. What the hell? <laughs> so that's your macaroni cheese in there. Quite a hefty portion. And then the barbecue beef obviously needs to be stirred. So I'll pierce it and I'll bring you back when it's when we're stirring it. So it's time to give it a stir. So let's see if it peels nicely. Wow, steam. Barbecue beef come out a bit on it. So you give that a stir. Looks alright, doesn't it? It does smell barbecuey now. I'm a bit worried when it's a tomato and not barbecue, but you know what? Looks alright. That a bit oily at the sides, but now stirring this macaroni. This is like oh, it's like American squeezed cheese, isn't it? So you're not going to get the breadcrumbs on the top now because I've got to stir it up. It does smell alright though to be fair. Okay then, back in for four minutes and then we'll get it plated up. Check it out. So it's ready and it is bubbling. Look at that. There is a ridiculous amount of food here. 
and I'm the only one in this house who's going to like this sort of stuff. The girls might like the barbecue beef, but there's no way they're going to like the mac and cheese. So I'm going to get onto this plate. See how easy it scoops out. I think we've got to start with the mac and cheese, haven't we? It looks like really nice macaroni and cheese, this. It smells like it as well. It reminds me of the mac and cheese I had at Camden Market, to be honest, in London. If you go back in my uh, playlist, you'll be able to see that, that video. And, but that one cost about um, <laughs> eight quid for a little tub. So, there's your mac and cheese. We'll spin that round and we'll get the barbecue beef. I don't want to lose any, so I could just pour this, couldn't I? I feel like this could just be poured. Got all that oil in that. The smell of this makes me think that my my missus and my daughter would like this. But we're just having a discussion with them. What else would you put? What else could you put um, put with this mac? Because obviously they don't like mac and cheese, but that barbecue beef they might like. What could you have it on? Pour it, pour it over fries, loaded fries maybe. Well, I'm having it anyway, so let's have a taste. So here it is, look at that, I'm, honestly, I'm not lying when I say this, it smells unbelievable, it smells like I'm actually in an American diner in this kitchen now, that, them two smells together, the combination of the, the, the macaroni and the cheese, it's, it's, it's like American cheese, it's squeezy cheese, it's not my favourite cheese, but that barbecue beef does smell, I just hope it's not sickly barbecue, but we're going to give it a go, so... Take a closer look, and we'll get into it. So, that looks unbelievable, right? So I forgot to tell you the price. It was £1.99 from Farm Foods. Not a bad price that for this. As long as it tastes good, it could be redeemed. The last one on Friday, the kebab meat was dreadful. But this, it looks a million miles better. So we'll start with the macaroni and cheese. We'll pick that up later. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. That is delicious. There's some green. There's some green bits in there. Um, but I'm not sure what they are. Uh, there's a little bit of spice there, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's from them. But this is really nice macaroni. Mm. Wow. Macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese is my guilty pleasure. I could eat it all day. Right, I'm going to try this barbecue beef, which looks decent. Let's just drop some and see what. It's not too runny, although there is oil on the plate there. Wow, that is sweet. 
It's not bad. You know what? That is really, really sweet, but it's delicious. I don't know if I, I'm going to eat all this, but I don't know if, I don't, I get sickly sometimes with it. I get sick of like barbecue sauce, but this is, it's really nice this. I'm going to try it with the cheese and we'll see if this, see if it actually does, is it, I know it says it's a mix up, but I'm going to see if it actually is an actual combination that goes together. <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable. Oh my God. This is, I can't believe it. I wasn't expecting this. Mm. I'm going to go put this video together and I'm going to absolutely destroy the rest of that. That is unbelievable. This is a 10 out of 10. I could literally eat that every day. That is fantastic. One of the best things I've ever tasted that. Wow. Wow. That is a must try. Get to farm foods and try it. If you like this sort of food, obviously if you don't like cheese or... You don't, or you're a vegan or whatever, you can't do this, but that is a must try. Wow, wow is all I can say. That's phenomenal. The barbecue is so sweet and nice, but it complement, they complement each other. They did have a couple of other mix-up ones, but I can't remember what they were. I'm gonna go, because I'm gonna go buy this again, so I'm gonna go try some more of these because that is phenomenal. Okay, I've said wow about 100 times in the last five minutes so i'm going to leave you with this for next week the just essentials will start not necessarily tomorrow depending on what happens with this delivery but next week they are coming back so hit that subscribe if you haven't thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next one